Awesome. Thanks for getting that up, Matt. So as you guys can see, you know, this is an example of manufacturing where we have uh, different machines in different safeguarded spaces. And first, we're going to walk up, we're going to display some padlock interlock blocking. So when we want to enter the cell, we walk over to the control station, we hit the stop button, in essence, requesting entry. And then when we walk over to the interlock, we're able to slide open the door. And then as we go in, that hasp drop down in front of the entry point on the interlock, which then we take our padlock and put it right on there, ensuring that as the operator walking into the cell, they have their own safety in their own hands. And we will see as we walk out, we are unable to close this door without or insert the actuator into the interlock without removing that hasp. And then here, this is just showing even if you were to attempt, the safety circuits are not closed, so you cannot start that machine. So now showing that we're walking over to our next, which is a trap key interlock blocking proactive inhibit function. So uh, here, same deal, we'll stop the machine with our control center. Uh, now, as we walk up to the door, we wanna see if we can open it. And before we do that, we need to take our personnel key out. Now that that's out, we are able to unlock the door. Normally they'd put that in their pocket, but unfortunately in this VR world, we only have one free hand. So we bring that in with us and perform with whatever task necessary. When you're done with that, you can leave the cell and we close the door here, insert the actuator. And now you still are unable to reset the machine because our safety personnel key is not inserted into the unit. Therefore, that is, you know, is resembling someone still in the cell, still doing preventative maintenance or what have you. Exactly, perfect. Right.